Hello students. In continuation with the last lecture on introduction to pattern recognition, today I am going to cover the pattern recognition procedure, components and its design principles. So here I go. So in pattern recognition procedure, we do have two steps. The first step where we extract the data from the input data which characterize the objects. And this characterization of the object basically is the process of extracting features from the objects. And in the next step, based on the characterization of the objects, the objects get identified and stored into the classes. That is, it has labeled into, the, into some class. So the main pattern recognition consists of segmenting the pattern of interest from the image, extracting feature, select the descriptive feature and determine the class membership based on those features. So let me have an example over here. Let us consider we do have, a, have an input data. What exactly we would do with this input data? We will firstly receive that input data and we will pre-process it. That is, we will extract the important object of interest from that input data. And this object of interest will be now goes for feature selection or feature extraction where we will extract the features. We will extract its features and then select the most descriptive features. And from this, we will select the most descriptive features so that my classifier would be able to give the class of this input object. Or you can say, give the class of that unknown object. So the whole process is the pattern recognition process and face recognition is one of the important application of pattern recognition. Now, pattern recognition consisting of some steps or you can say some phases. So, we do have five phase over here. Phase one, sensing. Phase two, segmentation. Phase three, feature extraction, phase 4, classification, and phase 5, post-processing. So, sensing phase, or you can say sensing, is the process of perceiving something or perceiving data from the object for some classification purpose. And that can be done by the transducers like cameras, microphones, and so on. The second phase, which is segmentation. Segmentation is the process of isolating the object of interest from the background or from other objects. That means segmentation is the process of separating the object which is of my interest from other objects or from the background. The third is feature extraction. Feature extraction is the process of choosing useful features. from the pattern 
so that we can discriminate the pattern from other patterns. So this is actually the feature extraction. The next phase four, which is classification. Classification is basically the process of designing a classifier. That basically make the patterns in groups based on the similarities and dissimilarities. So classification is the process of making the classes of similar objects basically. And the last phase, phase five, it is post-processing. That is the processing or you can say that is the process of assigning class to an unknown object correctly or accurately. So this is, these are the phases which has described. So let me have an example over here where actually uh, one of the uh, pattern recognition application that is object detection. So here I do have some images which consist of some faces. So what exactly my pattern recognition step goes for? The initial phase of sensing that it perceives these images or you can say perceives these images or perceives this objects from somewhere. Then in the next phase of segmentation, it actually isolate if suppose this is my object of interest or this is the object I need to identify, then my segmentation will actually separate this object from other objects and from these backgrounds also. So this is segmentation. Further, it will go for feature extraction. What exactly feature extraction will do? Feature extraction will choose the correct or useful features from this object so that it can be discriminated from the other objects. So, in feature extraction, we will have some feature vectors which I have told you in my previous video that the features the number of features actually the feature vectors which has some dimensions. These features can be able to make or can be able to design the classifier. So classification process is basically differentiate between the similar classes and differentiate between the dissimilar gas classes. And last, the post-processing is basically the result of classification, which can actually identify the class label of this object. So this is one of the important application of pattern recognition system. So let's move further. That is the design cycle of my pattern recognition where I do have some, uh, some block diagram where we start with the data collection. So basically uh, data collection is the, uh, is the collection of data for pattern recognition process that is selecting the samples from the population or you can say uh, selecting the right samples uh, from the population so that performance of the system could go better. So this is basically the collection of data. The second step is choose the features and the models. That means that the choice of important features or useful features totally depend on the characteristics of the problem domain. So it is very important to have a 
prior knowledge of the data because prior knowledge of the data always help us to select the right features because when we, when any we are uh, finding the features in any object there are lots of features so if i select all the features then i am actually justifying or i am actually uh, uh, actually taking my classifier for granted so i i won't be able to give the uh, i won't be able to make the classifier effectively and in other way if i take less number of features then also i am actually adjusting the with the quality of the classifier means my classifier won't be able to give the accurate results so this is very important to choose the useful features according to the problem domain the next step is train classifier train classifier basically is the process of using the data to train the system or to train the classifier so i already told you in the last video that for the training data set most of the time 80% data of the data set has been taken for the training purpose so the data set requires to be trained to build a quality classifier and the last step is evaluate classifier that is testing the classifier so which i actually covered in the last lecture that the training data set which sorry testing data set which actually means i need to evaluate my classifier so training classifier or evaluating classifier is totally depends upon the problem domain is totally depends upon the application because on that basis we can we can able to choose the 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 percentage of separating the training data set and the testing data set so this is all about the pattern recognition design cycle so i am ending over here i hope uh, you would be able to get the knowledge about the basic pattern recognition it's the phase its design principles uh hope to to come up with some further content on dimensionality reduction soon thank you students keep watching and listening